is there any way to validate the return data from a large language model? Is there any easy way to validate the JSON response? Considering a large language model response is not reliable, we need to test it before integrating with any application. It is a hard task for any developers who is trying to integrate the response from a large language model into any application. But now there is an easy solution. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Pydantic. It helps to validate the JSON response. If the response from a large language model is not correct, Pydantic will automatically send the response back to the large language model to get the right response. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to run this code and integrate with ChatGPT. First, we are going to create a virtual environment, conda create hyphen pydantic, python equals 3.11. Next, conda activate pydantic to activate the virtual environment. Next, pip install pydantic and click enter. That will install the package. Next, pip install openai and click enter. Next, pip install instructor and click enter. Next, export your openai API key, which you can download from openai website and click enter. Now, create a file called app.py and open the file. Inside the file, I've given the basic command for running a chat GPT chat completion in Python. I've already covered this in the previous video. So as a quick summary, we are importing OpenAI and openai.chatcompletion.create and you are providing the model name and then a message, role as a user and content. During the cool of the day, Mervin prays in age 25 walking in the park. So the chat GPT will automatically complete this text and you're finally printing the output. Now, if you run this Python app.py, this is the response which is the continuation of my input prompt. But now I want to get a data out of it. I want to get the person's name and the age. How can I do that? And also I need the same response every single time. This is how you do it. First, from Pydantic, import base model. Next, import instructor. Next, instructor.patch. This is to patch the open AI. Next, you're adding class profile detail, base model, full name, string, and years, integer. You are telling this class that I need only the name and the age, which is years. The full name should be string and the years should be integer. If the large language model return anything other than a string for a full name, Pydantic will automatically respond back to large language model requesting a string. In similar way, if the age is returned in a string format, the Pydantic will automatically reply back to large language model to get the integer. That is the advantage for any developers to integrate this in your application so that the data type will be the same across the board. Here you are going to make a slight modification. You're going to add colon and then profile detail equals. Then after that, response underscore model equals profile detail. That's it, as simple as that. As a summary, you're importing OpenAI from Pydantic import base model and import instructor. This is to patch the OpenAI then here you're defining the class, what type of data you require. I'm telling I need a full name and years. And in the content, if you see, during the cool of the day, Mervin Prazen, that's the name, and then age is 25, walking in the park. So the large language model should return a string name and also the age. And I'm adding a response model, which is the profile detail, and add a profile detail equals here. Now I'm going to run the code. Go to a terminal, type Python app.py and click enter. Now you've got the name, full name equals Mervin Prazen and ES25. As simple as that. I'm gonna try a few more times to double check if we are getting the same response again and again. I can clearly see that always the response are the same. That means you are building a reliable application between a large language model and any other third party application. So the data type will be same between application for it to work properly. I'm going to create more videos in related to this and also different ways to integrate this with any other application with many use cases. So stay tuned. I'm regularly creating content about artificial intelligence in my channel. So do go and have a look. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.